another day of working in the shop. Today we are gonna be putting gears and lockers in the Rubicon. We've been waiting for this day for a long time, but it's finally here. So now when you ask us, hey, you should put lockers in the Rubicon, we'll be able to say, we did instead of, well, they're sitting on the shelf. So what we've got here is gears and lockers and a diff cover from Yukon. These are quality parts. I run them in the Morver, I run them in the Banana. I'm completely happy with them. So we're gonna put them in the Rudicon. So if you'd like to upgrade your rig, I do recommend Yukon gear and axle. And we're gonna put a link in the description. So I already unboxed this, so we don't need to see that. We have the pinion and gear. <sighs> Next, we've got the locker. That's crazy. Oh, yep, there it is. And a piece of resistance. Woo! Oh, look how cute. So this is Trevor's box. Here you go. Spaghetti. So now that we know we have everything for the rear axle, we're gonna lift it up, tear it down, put it together. To start, we're gonna pull this cover off, let the oil drain out, pull the drive line off, and you'll see all the stuff inside. It's all about the right tool for the shop. Child of milk. Dang, that's a lot. We're just gonna let that sit for a second, and while that's draining, I'm gonna pull the axles out and pull the dry line. And there you have it. Everything's a different size. You want me to pop these out? That's how it tends to work. Seems like it would save a lot of money. Just to make every fastener they're all the same. Half inch bolts everywhere. Yep. I think we've been letting that drain for long enough. We're gonna pull the cover off. So I got this pretty much torn down to where I need help pulling it out because it weighs a lot. So Trevor. Okay. Oh, you're, you're gonna do that? Oh, look at that guy. Strong. There goes my shirt. Well. Nice. I have to build my own puller because <coughs> we don't have one this size and uh, we don't really want to go buy a new one. We'll have one after this though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So got that pulled with my homemade puller. I think this might fall out the back side if I'm not careful. Mm. I don't actually think it damaged the gear at all. The shims on this pigeon shaft that I need to take off, measure, probably reuse, and then put them onto this one. It will just give me a starting point to work from, and I'll be able to adjust from there. And now slides over the new shaft flawlessly. <laughs> Good morning, it's another day. We have been shimming everything. We haven't been doing a lot of math, but we've been doing a lot of guessing. We've just got this painted up. We're gonna see if we just made a happy little accident. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. I'm gonna give it resistance, you just go. I'll tell you when to stop. A little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, stop, now go the other way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop. Mm. <laughs> I don't like that reaction. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. <laughs> Let's see here, what does it say? The coast side is good, the drive side is bad. I think all we've got to do is get this lashed to 15 thousandths and we're good. Because we're like we're like at 30 thousandths right now. Okay, Tector, you need to spin that with all your might. Stop, go the other way now. Come on, stop. I like it. 
I like it. I think by the time you put that shim in, it's gonna be good. Okay, so it's literally hours and hours later, and it's time to go home. After consulting the manual, consulting the internet, consulting Alan, in case you don't know who Alan is, he's certified because he's got a fab wrap hat on. And he's who you bought the banana from. Do you guys not know that? I purchased a banana from Alan way back in the day. He's like, hey, I got this nice XJ. I bought it from him. It turns out it was famous. You regretted it ever since. Always. <laughs> back to this. We finally have an acceptable pattern. It's not perfect, but it does fall in the Yukon specs. So the last few moments of this gear installed and locker installed that you've watched has been days. But we're in a good mood now. We're gonna send it. Yeah. <laughs> Need everybody to say a little prayer for this pinion nut because it's got one more crush collar to do. Yeah, I, yeah. Ooh, I like that. that was it was only one. intended to do one. That's I thought you guys were good at these. We are. This is how it goes. You should see amateurs do this. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Come fill it, Alan. Get a second opinion here. Haha. <laughs> opinion. All right, let's do this. Woo. One more time. And if you got anything to say about my torque wrench, how it's a bendy style, you're lucky I'm even using one. <laughs> It's time for the final piece. Dang, that looks good. This looks very nice. That's it. All right, so we got half of the gears and half of the lockers installed today. Hopefully tomorrow goes better, faster, smoother. It's gonna be tomorrow like that. We got the back axle done. Now it's time to do the front. Out with the old, in with the new. Nice. <laughs> you want to give us some weather? A little cloudy, but no wind. Sun down. 65 degrees, 70. This one's going a lot better though. Yeah, is that the new one? Yeah, this is the new one. The old one is somewhere. We just put all the new bearings in because we set everything up with the old bearings. Everything's pressed in, all the shims are in. We're gonna see if we're still getting lucky because compared to the back axle, things have just been going amazing. Okay, give me some resistance. Okay, go back. Okay. Please. Beautiful. Please. It's a little high on the coast side, but that's okay. It's still good. It's yeah. good. What is going on? This Yukon diff cover. Look how nice. Got locking hubs. I didn't have that before. They were broken, so they didn't spin. But now I have an option. There's a couple little ticky things we need to do to get this running. But we're going trail riding tomorrow morning. Time is 9.30 p.m. We're finally done. We got all the hoses ran, the airlines ran, and the wiring all done. Trevor stayed with me. Thanks, Trevor. You got it. But now we're gonna go to Taco Bell because I promised Trevor I'd get him a taco. Can we get a number four with a Pepsi? Number four with a Pepsi? Yes, please. And then- Drink, what to drink? Pepsi. Today we're fueling up my Jeep. 
again to go test the lockers on slip lock. We're gonna meet my dad out there. Stick around for a little announcement. And it's a nice sunny day, 70 degrees, faint smell of gas, low chance of rain, high chance of asphyxiation by gas fumes. It's already working. <laughs> Switch set up, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little too much air in my tires, but if I didn't, I could yeah. crawl up that. Man, all four just. on gears and lockers um well i need to fix my steering because it will break that my front locker lock will break my box off but uh, so far it's great i mean you just so it's true off. with every upgrade you make it hurts something bad enough you're still only half done yes <laughs> yep that's what it is I have been given a great opportunity to go and start my own YouTube channel. You're still going to see me on Matt's Off-Road Recovery from time to time, just like in today's video, but for now, full time, I'm going to be doing my own thing. It's going to be called Rudy's Adventure in Design, and I'll be on YouTube. The personal growth that I've had over the past couple years has been amazing, and all of that is possible because of Matt's Off-Road Recovery and because of you. Thank you so much for this opportunity, and I hope that you can continue to support me through my channel. My hope for my channel is for it to be about fabrication and designing vehicles, and then going and testing and exploring, going on adventures. And I hope that you can join me there. Thanks for watching. All right, it is enough. You messed up. Ha, 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 ha.